there we love everyone. Uh, how are you today? Um, hope you're having a wonderful day. We have dun, 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 an unboxing. And um, I already pulled the plastic off. As you know, I had a little faux pas yesterday. And I literally unwrapped um three diamond art club paintings and was not recording any of them my computer messed up or i messed up oh i want to say first and foremost thank you so much diamond art club for my beautiful happiness lemon leaf and woods scented candle I cannot wait to um, to light her up. It was such a thoughtful thing to do, and um, I just love it. Thank you so much. It was so terribly considerate of you. Okay, so today we are doing one of my favorite little partials. I love these partials. This one is called Nothing Left in the Box. Okay. Um, I already took the toolkit out. It does come with a new toolkit. Not every toolkit you get is going to be new. They're in transition and they are um they're coming along. They're getting more and more uh, regular, but, um, just be patient. I still haven't gotten the feather. Um, oh, do you notice anything? <laughs> um, I have, okay, I'm going to make this story short. I have a friend who is a jeweler and he does all custom jewelry and um let me bring it down a little bit because i really want you to see it it's isn't it beautiful and <clears throat> over the years i have brought him seven brides and grooms because i think that his jewelry is so intricate and everything he does is custom well, he knows I love pave. I love pave diamonds. So he actually made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven rings. And he called it the matchmaker because every time I would bring um, clients to him, um, I would always match them up with their wedding rings. And, um, I know it's not usually a part of a bridal coordinator, but, um, he made this for me. He even had a butler in a tuxedo deliver it. The box is so beautiful. He even had the box hand carved, but, um, no one has ever made me. You see how the... The rings go out and in because some of the clients were a little out there <laughs> and some were a little more subdued and he wanted me to have this and he made it for me. So uh, to my dear friend, Yoha, I am eternally grateful and I love it because, you know what? It's wide and it hides my fat sausage knuckle. <laughs> you know how, you know how this knuckle kind of, see? I mean, I, I, it's genetic. I can't do anything about it. But isn't it cool? And because it's so popular, he um, photographed it for the diamond show because he goes to a lot of the diamond uh, shows. He photographed it and people are already copying it. 
So I say flattery is the best form of, well, what is it? Imitation is the best form of flattery. Anyway, I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. What are we working on today? We are doing a partial. Now, listen, I really feel as Diamond Art Club people, we should definitely have partials in our collections because when you're finished doing a big Josephine Wall or a big Chuck Pinson, you need something light and fun. How much fun is that? I mean, look at him. You could do this in like three or four days if you wanted to. Now, I already put um, the legend in the book. I always put the legends in the book because that's the only way. And then I can look through the book when I'm trying to decide what I want to work on next and see what inspires me. Let's look down here at the legend. Okay. He is the most beautiful English bulldog. And this guy... <laughs> This guy is money. I mean, he is money, money, money. Now, <clears throat> he has 30 colors. Easy peasy, nice and squeezy. Um, he has one, two, three, four ABs. Four ABs in a partial. Can you believe it? I mean, that is like going to be sparkly sparkly he is a 20 by 20 which all of Marianne's um or I'm sorry Marilyn 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 Casanova <laughs> I am such a fan of you I have all the dogs and the cats and the llamas and I have everything um I love her I love the way she did all the little crevices in his little feet and his little wrinkles and his little pink toe pads. He is adorable. And he would make a great Mother's Day gift. I mean, really. He is so cute. And you could have him done in no time. No time at all. Okay, we're going to put the book aside for a minute. And look at the quality. The quality is Diamond Art Club all day. Now, this does not... Okay, if you notice, I don't like to pull the paper back a lot. I'll tell you why. Adhesive and air never go together. But do you see how sticky he is? He's got a good, good stick on him. Um, this paper, you might feel like when you're working on it, it might wrinkle a little, but when you lay it out, the wrinkles, like, like this little wrinkle right here, you won't even see it. You won't even see it. I mean, he has beautiful, beautiful different pinks. There must be five different pinks in these roses. And the little ears. I'm going to take them out because you know what? There's not that many. There's only like 30 of them. Um, now, I want to let you know also, Diamond Art Club has up their ante and they have begun doing their own. These are squares, so you're going to get all that detail. And you need it when you're doing an animal like this. Um, <sighs> does everybody want to go out and buy an English Bulldog? Yes. Can you afford one? No. And let me tell you something. They're not just expensive puppies. They need surgery around their eyeballs because the fat drips around their eyes. They have um, a lot 
of different health concerns. I wouldn't say issues because I think if you take good care of your dog, you're you're not going to have as many issues, but they do have some genetic issues. Um, weight being one of them. They are love to eat. If you want a buddy to eat dinner with, yeah. He's gonna he's gonna be a chunker. Okay, pink A B, beautiful. Um should I turn them around so we can see the numbers and not be upside down? 128. Uh, another. Um, these are all the colors. And, and you can tell. You know, now if you look at it right up front, you may not, it may, it may seem a little lighter. But when it goes down on the page, it's going to be a little darker. A lot of that has to do with my lighting, which I'm still trying. Look at 115. <gasps> fuchsia, fuchsia, fuchsia. Can I have a dress made out of that? I mean, look at the green. I mean, how beautiful. And then, and then, more highlight greens. And those are in the highlights right here of the leaves in the flowers. So they're going to give them some extra sparkle too. If you know a dog lover, even if they don't have an English Bulldog, they are going to hug you and send you cookie baskets. And I mean, they're going to be on that phone with Crumble the Cookie People. Oh, I sent crumbles to my eye doctor because, you know, she did such a great job on my eyes. <laughs> she was hysterical. I called her and I was like, hey, I just wanted to tell you my bougie eyeglasses fit perfect. And she was just like, shut up. Don't bother me. I'm eating these fabulous warm cookies that just arrived at my door. Um, big fat bag of 141. So 141 is going to be all around his snoot. And here, this is all color blocking. I'm telling you, you're going to get this done in two days. And it's going to be so adorable. So, uh, by all means, go get you a bulldog. I'm naming my bulldog Abigail. <laughs> I think she looks like an Abigail. Um, I think that you can't possibly have a bulldog with a name like Butch or Sam or, you know, Amy or something. You gotta, she's gotta have a, she's gotta have a really good name. Um, so I'm going to name her Abigail Marie, or Abigail Sophia, or Abigail, I don't know. Let's think of a name for her. Do you guys have a better name? What about Anastasia? No, because she's English. Oh, Edwina. Edwina is a very English name. And, uh... We could call her Edwina, and she would be so much fun. I have to put a little piece of tape on this because it ain't sticking. Hold on. Be patient with me, people. Oh, God. I had the worst stomach bug. Oh, man. I really, I was like, I'm dying. I'm dying. Everybody just have a funeral for me because I'm not going to make it. I thought, you know, like everything, every possible thing that could happen to your stomach happened to me at the same time. It was more than I could stand. 
but I am on the recovery now. Go get a baby bulldog. She's so cute, and she won't cost nearly as much as the big one. Um, thank you for letting me share uh, my ring story. It means so much to me. I cried for an hour. I really did. No one has ever, and the pave diamond of it all, no one has ever, ever, I mean, except for my husband, of course. And he had to because he had to marry me. So he can't marry me without a ring. But um, uh, what a lovely, lovely gesture. So, as I always say, you are important to me. So be important to you. Go get a nice little diamond painting. She's not real expensive. And uh, really keep a few partials around so you don't get burnt out. Because if you go big to big to big to big, you can get burnt out. So I'm just saying that. And with that, I will bid you adieu and have a great, great Thursday night. And we'll see you on Friday with another unboxing. Talk to you guys soon. Love you. Bye. And don't forget, shine on. Don't forget, shine, shine, shine. You all have a little shine in you. Go get it out. It's getting crusty and rusty and dusty. Come on. Get your shine on. I'll talk to you soon. Love you all. Bye-bye.